Since Election Day, immigration concerns have lingered across the country with civil rights groups reporting an increase in racially motivated attacks, especially on Latinos and Muslims. And here in Austin, city leaders say they're getting more phone calls from people who say they are afraid of hate crimes and the possibility of mass deportations. So today the city is planning to put some of those fears to rest. KXAN's Gigi Barnett live this morning with the details on that. Good morning, Gigi. Good morning, John and Sally. City and school leaders say they have been inundated in Travis County and Austin with emails and phone calls, mostly from Austinites who are afraid of what strict immigration policies will do to their communities. So the city says today is the day that they are going to address these concerns. Today, several Austin council members with te will team up with Austin ISD school board members and Travis County leaders at City Hall. They want to send a message that they're committed to keeping Austinites safe by making sure that people's civil rights aren't being violated. This all comes just a couple of days after state lawmakers moved forward with the bill to get rid of sanctuary cities in Texas. Sanctuary cities are areas that refuse to enforce federal immigration laws. It is a platform Travis County Sheriff-elect Sally Hernandez ran and won on. She has repeatedly said that she will not detain non-criminal inmates for immigration agents looking to deport them. If she follows through with that promise, Austin would be the state's first real sanctuary city. And in a statement to KXAN News, Hernandez says, Travis County voters made it overwhelmingly clear that they want a progressive policy towards immigration that focuses on keeping families together and our communities safer. Our values have not changed since Election Day. Travis County still has the same principles and values, which state that everyone, regardless of who they are, who they love, or where they come from should be valued, respected, and treated fairly by law enforcement. And John, that meeting is today at City Hall at 4 p.m. Back to you. Gigi, thank you. Ahead of the legislative session, the Department of Public Safety and lawmakers are already preparing to ask for more than a billion dollars to continue fighting drug crime on the border. That way, they say border agents can then focus on the influx of new people crossing the border. But what exactly are you paying for with all of that? Well, you can check out our multi-part ongoing investigation, Border Splurge, online right now at KXAN.com.